I welcome to all on the course of refrigeration and air conditioning. Now we are going to explain the cell and coil type condenser. This is the another type of water type condenser. In this video I will cover cell and coil type condenser and tube tube type condenser. So name, now you first I will explain this name, cell and coil type condenser. Here you observe, here the coil type of structure is here. Through this coil type structure, the water is flowing through it. And through this cell, the refrigerant is flowing. For that reason, the name is cell and coil type condenser. In the previous video, I explained cell and tube type condenser because the water is passing through the tube and the refrigerant is passing through the cell. For that reason, the name as cell and tube type condenser and here in the cell and coil type condenser, the refrigerant is flowing through the cell and the coil, the, through the coil, the water is flowing. For that reason, the name as cell and coil type condenser. Let's come to the construction part of this condenser. The cell and tube type condenser consists of one or more water coil enclosed in a voltage steel cell. Both feed and the bare coil type are available. This cell and coil type condenser may be horizontal or vertical. But here I am showing you the vertical type. Let's come to the working principle. In this type of condenser, the hot vapor refrigerant enter at the top of this cell and surrounded the water coil. As the vapor condense its drop to the bottom of this the cell which often serve as a receiver. Most of the vertical cell type condenser use the counter flow system because the counter flow system is more efficient than the parallel flow water system. Because of the counter flow, the temperature difference is uniform. For that reason, the counter flow is more efficient than the parallel flow. And this, the water coil are enclosed in a oil cell, older cell. Therefore, mechanical cleaning of this coil is not possible. So, how to clean? The coil are clean, clean with chemical and the cell and the coil type condenser use unit up to 50 tons capacity. And here I am showing you the 2D view and this view, this diagram you have to draw in the exam. And here the water in, cold water in and it is passed through it. And here is the warm water and hot vapor refrigerant passed through this through this cell. Then at the bottom we will get the liquid inflow. This is all about the cell and coil type condenser. Let's come to the, the another and last type. This is the tube tube type condenser. First I will define the name why it is named as tube tube type condenser because here the refrigerant is passing through the tubes and the water is also passing through the tubes. Both are passing through the tubes for that reason the name as tube tube type condenser or sometimes the name is double tube type condenser and this double tube type condenser consists of water tube inside a large refrigerant tube. 
in this type of this condenser the hot vapor refrigerant enters at the top of this condenser and the water absorb the heat from the refrigerant and condense the refrigerant flow at the bottom since the refrigerant tubes are exposed to the ambient air therefore some heat is also absorbed by the ambient air by the natural condenser natural convection here some portion is open to the atmosphere so some heat will be transferred here i am going to detail why the counter flow is more efficient than the parallel flow the counter flow means opposite direction opposite direction here you observe the water is flowing in a clockwise and sorry the refrigerant is flowing in a clockwise and the water is flowing in a anti clockwise means this is counter flow then what is parallel flow if the water and the refrigerant both fluid having same direction here the hot refrigerant is entering and here water will be enter then both have same direction this is parallel flow now i am going to explain why parallel flow flow system is less efficient than the counter flow the counter flow system prefer in the all the water cool condenser because it gives the high rate of heat transfer why because the cold water used for the final cooling to the liquid refrigerant and the warmest water absorb the heat from the hottest vapor refrigerant therefore the temperature difference between the water and the refrigerant remains fair constant throughout the condenser but in the case of parallel flow system the water and the refrigerant flow in the same direction therefore the temperature difference between them increases thus the availability of water absorb heat decreases as it passes through the condenser so this is about all the tube tube type condenser or double tube type condenser so here you have cover all types of condenser like cell and tube type condenser cell and coil type condenser and tube tube type condenser thank you